Aha, now you see, this is the kind of reports that we used to hearing from the Baltimore Ravens. But since this offseason just been so great, like, we ain't even starting it like that. We ain't even starting it like that uh, because we've been on the opposite end that we're used to being on so much that this is like, oh, okay, cool. Even though them Ravens are sneaky. Them Ravens are real sneaky. Let's, let's read the report from Jeff Zrebic. Shout out to Jeff Zrebic, by the way. He said, Baltimore native Adrian Amos, who signed with the Jets today. So, yeah, y'all heard about that. And I saw somebody in the, in the replies on Twitter. They were like, oh, Chuck Clark probably feeling some type of way now. But anyway, Adrian Amos, who signed with the Jets today, visited with the Ravens for a second time yesterday. Boy, these Ravens, when they want to keep something under wraps, they will keep it under wraps I ain't hear nothing about no Adrian Amos visiting with the Ravens yesterday. I ain't hear nobody talk about it. I, this is my first time hearing about it. Like, when Ravens want to be sneaky, they will be sneaky. I ain't mad at it, though. I ain't mad because, again, we talk about it all the time. They talk about it all the time. Trying to improve as much as you can. But anyway, let's, let's continue with the report. It said Jets, however, made a more lucrative offer on Amos's visit today. So, in order for the Jets to make a more lucrative offer, that means the Ravens tried. They tried to sign Adrian Amos. And it was reported months ago, well maybe like, yeah, about a month or two ago, that the Ravens were interested in Adrian Amos. All them reports continue to come up. I know Jeff Zrebeck, he had talked about it in The Athletic, uh, in, in one of his reports in The Athletic, that the Ravens were interested in Adrian Amos. Uh, it was said that he had visited with the Ravens a while back, too, but they obviously just never made the move. I'm not sure what they were waiting on exactly. I don't know if they had other options. I don't know if they wanted his price to come down a bit. I'm not sure what it was, but it obviously didn't happen. But the Ravens, according to Jeff, and again, you got to pay attention to the words, but the Ravens sound like they offered him a deal. But he got a better one from the Jets. Sound familiar? No, it doesn't because Odell got a better offer from them Ravens, baby. Anyway, and shout out to Odell. It was nice scene. We're going to talk about his press a little later. Let's continue with the report. It says, uh, Ravens are in solid shape of safety with Marcus Williams, Kyle Hamilton, Geno Stone, and Brandon Stevens. And I mean, whatever they want to do with Ardarius Washington, uh, Jeff said he was playing slot cornerback today, and he has been for a little bit for a little while. Uh, with Brandon Stevens, who knows what they gonna do with him? He, this dude been a safety, a corner, corner, safety, safety, corner, corner, safety. So we will see what they end up doing with him. But again, look at look, look at look at Ravens still trying to upgrade. Now, something to think about. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be for safety or what, but um, the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, they waived somebody today because they, they cleared up a, a roster spot. And let me see exactly who that was. Uh, it was um, Brian Walker, tight end Brian Walker. He was an undrafted free agent from Shepherd University. Uh, and Jeff Zrebic, this was also his report, and he said that they waived him so that opened a roster spot. So the Ravens seem like they are getting ready to make a move. Because you don't waive somebody. Well, no, 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 I take that back. You don't usually waive somebody with the, with the, without the intention of adding a replacement. So who that's going to be, I'm not expecting anything crazy, anything like that. But I do expect the Ravens to make a signing um, over the next couple days. Probably by tomorrow. By, yeah, probably by tomorrow, I would think. Because Raven, like offseason, they usually move uh, pretty fast. Uh, Jeff Zrebic also reported that the Ravens had some guys in for tryouts, uh, wide receiver Michael Bandy and tight end Connor Davis. Uh, they also had kicker Eddie on Ongaba, kicker Matt McCrane, long snapper Alex Matheson, and defensive back Chris Steele. So with those names, um, it just sounds like it's, it's just for like camp and stuff, just to have more bodies and whatnot. Um, no, nothing, nothing crazy, anything like that. But it just sounds like it's to to to, to stay ready, so you ain't got to get ready. Ravens, I mean, uh, uh, plenty of teams do it. All all teams do it. They bring in guys for tryouts just so you can know, like, all right, we like what we we saw in that guy, and just in case something happens, okay, we know we can call this guy to come in. We know we can call him to come in, and that's it. So ain't nothing crazy. So just anyway, team, keep because I want to keep y'all updated on that. So again, Ravens out here still trying to improve the team, man. 
And I, I ain't mad at it not one bit. I like it. Um, now, now that we got that business out the way, y'all are family. And, and with family, family talk to each other. Family share stuff with each other. Even personal stuff. Um, and I told y'all a couple days ago that Carter, he was dealing with a stomach bug. It's a stomach bug that's been going around. And, oh, it was rough. Uh, and then even last night, well, really this morning, like 3, 4 in the morning, oof, it was rough. Just throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. He was, it, it was rough for him. Uh, but now he is doing much better. So I'm happy that he's doing much better. He's in a good mood. Right now he's in there watching his iPad, watching something. But anyway, um, my wife, she got sick. But it's like a, like a cold sick. Uh, but then, so I, I'm the last man standing. And I'm like, man, y'all been getting sick and stuff, but I'm the last man standing. I'm still here, baby. But then this morning, I had went on a walk, um, took my dogs on a walk, and came back. And it's like a four mile walk. And came back. Uh, I sat down, drank some Gatorade, drank some water, uh, just because it, it's hot out there. And I hadn't had anything prior. So then Carter, um, he looks at me and he says, hey, he said, he said, mommy, talking to his mom, he said, mommy, I think that dad has the bug. And I was like, no, I said, I ain't, I ain't sick. Like, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm fine. Not even an hour later, blah, blah, I, I end up throwing up. So I don't know if I got the actual stomach bug or I don't know if that was a result of me having been outside and maybe being dehydrated. I'm not sure. I feel all right now. My stomach is like a little tiny bit queasy. We'll see what happens throughout the rest of the day and night and whatnot. Hopefully nothing, but if it's something, then it, it is what it is. It'll pass. Um, it's it's going to come out one way or another, baby. I know that ain't so team keep it clean, but y'all are family, and I love y'all. So we'll see how this thing goes, man. Just had to give y'all a little behind the scenes. Because like I said, I love y'all. I, I appreciate y'all. And yeah, while we do talk football... Like we always do, we talk Ravens, NFL, whatever, we talk all that stuff, but y'all, since y'all are family, um, it's, it's okay, we talk about some other stuff too, you know, we gotta throw life in there, cause it's important and it's something that we all are dealing with, so anyway, Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all, I love y'all, thank you for always being willing to listen, even if you ain't wanna hear all that, which I, I, I get it, I, I really do, um, but I appreciate you, I love you, and if I do have the stomach bug, then... Like I said, either way, whatever goes in will end up coming out. I love you.